Chapter 3 Inflation We will study the following points in this chapter. 3.1 Introduction 3.2 Causes of Inflation 3.3 Effects of Inflation 3.4 Measures to Control Inflation Meaning and Definitions Inflation is generally associated with rapidly rising prices. Thus, in simple terms, inflation is decline in purchasing power due to an increase in prices. Professor Crowther has defined inflation as a state in which the value of money is falling, that is, prices are rising. Professor Crowther's definition emphasizes on the rise in price level as a symptom rather than cause of inflation. However, this definition fails to explain why the price level increases from time to time. According to Professor Kammerer, inflation means too much currency in relation to the physical volume of business being done. This definition involves a comparison between two things. The supply of currency on one side and supply of physical goods and services on the other side. The above definitions establish cause and effect relationship between supply of money and the price level. An increase in supply of money is the cause and rise in price level is its effect. 3.1 Introduction Inflation is a global economic concept. If there is an increase in the price level, there is inflation. It results in the decline of value of money. 3.2 Causes of Inflation there are two main causes of inflation. Increase in demand for goods and services. Decrease in supply of goods and services. Increase in demand for goods and services. Demand for goods and services increases due to following factors. 1. Increase in public and private expenditure. Due to war, development policies, etc., public expenditure increases. It leads to an increase in demand for goods and services in the economy. An increase in private expenditure leads to a rise in demand for goods and services. 2. Increase in export. An increase in export reduces the stock of commodities available for home consumption. It creates a shortage of goods in the economy. So demand exceeds the supply. 3. Reduction in taxation. When taxes are reduced, there is an increase in the purchasing power of consumers. So demand increases. 4. Rapid growth of population. A rapidly growing population increases level of demand for goods and services in a country. 5. Deficit financing Government meets the deficit by borrowing from the public and reserve banks and also paying by printing currencies. This increases money supply in the economy. Therefore, demand and prices rise. 6. Availability of credit Due to an easy availability of credit, consumer spending rises. It increases the demand for goods and services. All these factors lead to rise in demand for goods and services which increases inflationary pressure. B. Decrease in supply of goods and services. 
decrease in supply of goods and services takes place due to the following factors. 1. Shortage of factors of production. The shortage of some factors like land, labor, capital, etc. reduce the production of goods and services. It decreases the level of supply. 2. Industrial disputes. Industrial disputes result into strikes which may lead to lockouts. In such cases, industrial production falls and reduces its supply. 3. Natural calamities. Natural calamities like flood, drought, etc. adversely affects the supply of farm products and raw materials. 4. Lopsided production. More production of comforts and luxury goods reduces the supply of essential goods in the market and hence causes inflation. 5. Holding of goods. Holding is done by suppliers to earn more profit. It reduces the supply of goods at a particular point of time. It leads to rise in prevailing prices. Sometimes consumers tend to hoard goods, expecting prices to rise in the near future. This creates a shortage of goods and services in the market, so prices rise. Hence, decrease in supply is also responsible for inflation. Three point three effects of inflation A effects on production A low inflation rate stimulates economic growth. Rise in price level initially leads to increase in profit ratio, investment, output, employment level and income. However, hyperinflation results in fall in the value of money and decline in purchasing power. Inflation reduces saving and capital formation. It also discourages the entrepreneurs from taking risk involved in the production. It adversely affects the quality of production. Resources are diverted from the production of essential goods to luxury goods to earn profit. Inflation discourages the inflow of foreign capital because foreign investment becomes less profitable due to rising costs of production. 3.4 Measures to control inflation A. Monetary measures B. Fiscal measures C. Other measures A. Monetary measures Inflation refers to excess money supply over the quantity of goods and services. Hence, monetary authorities aim at reducing excess money supply in an economy by using following measures. 1. Increase in bank rate Bank rate refers to the rate of interest at which a central bank lends money to commercial banks. An increase in bank rate raises other interest rates. It discourages people to borrow money from various financial institutions. It leads to reduction in money supply in the economy. 2. Sale of government securities in the open market. Sale of government securities by the central bank reduces cash with the commercial banks. It leads to a decrease in money supply in the economy. 3. Regulation of consumer's credit. Commercial banks provide consumer credit to buy durable goods like car, TV, etc. Such bank credit can be controlled 
by increasing down payment and reducing the number of installments. 4. Increase in cash reserve ratio, CRR. CRR refers to the proportion of total deposits which commercial banks have to keep with the central bank. A rise in CRR results into lesser availability of credit through banks. It helps to control money supply. B. Fiscal measures. Some of the important fiscal measures to control inflation are as follows. 1. Reduction in public expenditure. Government expenditure should be reduced to control inflation. 2. Increase in taxes. Government increases level of taxes and imposes new taxes. It leads to fall in consumption expenditure. 3. Surplus budget. The government has to adopt surplus budget in order to control inflation. 4. Public borrowings. The government borrows money from market, private individuals and firms. It takes away the excess purchasing power of the people. It reduces demand and hence prices come down. 5. Overvaluation It discourages exports and increases availability of goods and services in a country. C. Other measures It includes direct measures taken by the government to control inflation. They are as follows. 1. Expansion of domestic output so as to meet the ever-increasing demand. 2. Direct control of prices and rationing, that is, bringing down the upper limit beyond which prices would not be allowed to rise. 3. Adopting appropriate wage profit policy. 4. Publicity campaigns to appeal the people to control their expenditure. 5. Control of population growth. Hence, inflation is a situation of sustained upswings of prices. Beyond the full employment level, inflation becomes dangerous. So, it has to be kept under control. B. Effects on distribution. Inflation leads to unequal distribution of wealth and income in the society. So rich becomes richer and poor becomes poorer. Entrepreneurs earn more profit. It is because selling prices rise faster than the cost of production. However, fixed income earners like pensioners, workers, salaried persons, etc. are adversely affected by inflation because their money income remains the same while the value of money falls. People who invest their money in equity shares are the gainers because of rising prices. However, those who invest in fixed income earning assets like bonds and deposits are the losers because their money income remains the same. Generally, debtors are the gainers because they repay less purchasing power than before when they return the debt. On the other hand, creditors lose as they receive less in terms of real income. During inflation, big farmers are the gainers because prices of agricultural goods rise. However, small farmers do not gain much as the major portion of their produce is kept for self-consumption. C. Non-economic effects Inflation widens the gap and creates social conflicts 
between the rich and poor. Due to inflation, some businessmen resort to adulteration, hoard quality deterioration, etc. Thus, inflation adversely affects more values. Inflation leads to corruption which reflects in political uncertainties. Thus, inflation has far-reaching consequences on an economy.